Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBit Solutions. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing Thursday. So today is April 9th, 2020. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you not only breaking down uh, the top 30 stocks that I created, but in yesterday's video, you guys absolutely smashed it. So what I asked you was instead of telling you what I think that you know uh, would make sense to invest in. Uh, one of the videos that I uploaded yesterday on YouTube was simply sharing this idea of why it's so important to inform yourself you know during this coronavirus kind of like recession or pullback stock market crash whatever it is that you want to call it there's no question that there is great opportunity among us a lot of you guys now because you have extra time more now than ever before are interested in learning more about the stock market and learning more about how to invest long term so what i wanted to do is in yesterday's video i talked about the sectors that did well and the sectors that were greatly affected by the coronavirus. So what I'm gonna be doing in today's video is I am going to be fulfilling based off of the sectors that I talked about, the ones that I saw, and again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think and share your own opinion. In my honest opinion, I think that the sectors that were most affected by the coronavirus and this overall global shutdown have been hotels, airlines, retail, and overall restaurants, right? There's no question that, you know, when you're in quarantine, it's very difficult to do any of those, right? So we have seen, I think, those specific companies and those specific sectors see the biggest negative influence. Uh, in comparison to overall other companies, uh, such as, you know, online streaming platform, online services, that saw, again, a huge, just, uh, that are currently like thriving during current market conditions. So what I wanted to do within this video is just like you guys asked me to, is I wanted to share the 30 stocks that I think that meet within that criteria, uh, and I'm gonna be breaking down, uh, breaking them down for you. So one of the first things that I uh, wanna at least share with you is this is the list. These are all the ticker symbols. One of the things that I, I wanna remind you is that these are not stock suggestions. These are ones that I see value. And one of the things that you're gonna see that is very similar that all of these almost have in common is that almost every single stock that I am going to list today is before this overall pullback because of the uh, because of the coronavirus uh, began to happen. Uh, they they used to offer a higher high and overall 180 day uptrend pattern, meaning that they were showing signs of an uptrend. They were bullish, right? Me meaning that they were increasing in value before the coronavirus uh, overall just uh, news came out, right? So because of that, although that we are in a recession and um, we are being affected by this unfortunate news, I think that again, with great opportunity comes great responsibility, maybe a little bit more than 30 because uh, I couldn't make up my mind on which which ones to include and which ones not to include, but I hope that that's okay with you. So I'm gonna break down a couple of these and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys why. why. I hope that you guys don't just stop here when it comes down to you know, um, adding to your watch list. I think it's very important during such tough times that you take time to inform yourself on what stocks you would like to invest in long term. So maybe I might be talking about a specific uh, hotel stock uh, for weekend. Uh, we are going to be opening up 20 spots at $50 off for our Learn Plan Profit course. So uh, I'm not too sure if I've even done an overall recap. Uh, I did a little bit over $3,000 today. So $3,684 profit is what I made day trading today. So all positions closed as you guys can see right here, my bread and butter, you guys and D gas. So very happy with how this played out. If you guys wanna be able to watch me trade live every single day and learn how to day trade, again, there's gonna be uh, 20 spots that we're going to open. You guys can refresh. Uh, technical issues here. So hey Ricky, uh, look at the chats. So this is beautiful. Can you post this up later lagging? I'm disconnected. Yeah, of course. Um, so you guys can skip this if you guys are watching the rewatch. Uh, it should clear up soon and it says that it keeps cutting out. Uh, but again, uh, we have the list right here. I'm just gonna start going through the list of stocks. Uh, the ones that I think that have been most affected have been companies like American Airlines, Hawaiian Airlines, uh, JetBlue, uh, Planet Fitness. Uh, we got BA, which is Boeing, which I think is very important. A lot of people are looking at overall major airlines but aren't paying enough attention to uh, something that is supported by the overall government, such as BA. Uh, then we got uh, B, which I think is also pretty interesting. This is Barnes Group. Uh, something that, again, was showing signs of an uptrend before the overall market began to sell off. It is a little bit 
bit more on the oversold side, the thing that I want to remind you is that we don't know where the bottom is when it comes down to the stock market, but if you want to look a little bit more into the company and you like what it stands for and the potential that it has not only to recover, but to continue to flourish, then again, this is the whole idea of taking time during a recession is to get something for a good deal with the overall understanding that it's not something that you essentially plan to sell next week or next month, but something that you, again, are investing in long term, one year, 10 years, 20 years uh, down the road. So again, just make sure that whatever companies you choose to invest in are companies that meet your overall criteria. But like I, I was saying, Platinum Fitness was showing signs of an uptrend pattern. Obviously, we're greatly affected by the overall idea of the coronavirus. So that, that's why we saw a pullback. We also saw, um, we also saw overall uh, companies such as Boeing. As you guys can see here, this thing was showing signs of a very aggressive sell-off. So now it's consolidating right around 152. It has a lot of upside potential, but again, just like American Airlines, just like Hawaiian Airlines, just like JetBlue, you guys can see that these were doing pretty well right before the coronavirus news. Obviously they were greatly affected. So the overall idea is now a lot of these can offer anywhere from you know 50% to 200% return based off of the current price. When I think American Airlines is a perfect example that it hit lows of $8.85 uh, from $9 going all the way back up to about $30 we're over 200% growth. So again, just something to take into consideration. The idea that I wanna remind you is that we don't know where the bottom is, so things can continue to sell off. So just please take into consideration that I'm not saying that the market's going to recover right now as things can continue to get worse before they get better, but the idea is during this off time and during this recession, it might be a good idea to build your watch list of stocks. So cherry pick whatever stocks you find value in that you might want to invest in long term. So once you see that recovery, you can choose to put your you know money in whatever it is that you choose to invest in. So let's go ahead and move on to the next section. So we're gonna be talking about uh, a little bit uh, more of companies that were affected, but not as much as airlines and stuff like that. One of the other things that we did cover uh, were hotels. Uh, we covered hotels like the Hilton, uh, Chicago, the Wynn. Uh, on top of that, cruise lines. You guys have heard so much news, more now than ever before, of cruise lines were just so greatly affected by the coronavirus. We got, uh, I think it's the Carnival Cruise, Royal Caribbean Cruise, and then the Norwegian uh, Cruise Line um, holding company. So again, those are all going to be right here as well, and I'm gonna pop those up just so you guys can see how they are trading. So this is currently how much that they are down. So again, at lows of $7.60, let's say that it goes back down to $9, and then it begins to trade back at $45. That's over a 390% return. The same thing with, again, uh, Royal Caribbean back at around $30 per share if it were to trade back at around you know $126, which is where it was trading at before this all happened. Uh, then again, it would put it back at up 322%. So there is no question that there is great upside potential with the idea that we don't know if we're gonna continue to sell off before we, we recover. And the reason I'm repeating that for harder money, just make sure that you invest when it makes sense to you and no one else. You don't have to listen to anyone else uh, when it comes down to taking or choosing uh, when to take that position size. So here it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and now start talking about uh, the series of banks. Uh, the number one bank that I'm, uh, the number, the two banks that I'm really going to be pay, uh, be paying attention to is of course, Bank of America. Bank of America was affected. Overall, it has pushed up, has recovered quite a bit. Uh, but overall, it still has a lot to recover. And again, things can get worse before they continue to get better. So Bank of America, which is BAC, is one that I'm closely looking at. The same thing with JP Morgan. Again, it was consistently showing signs of an uptrend and then all this news happened, it dropped significantly. Again, there's still great upside potential. So like, let's say that we get in at an average purchase price of about $94 and it ends up recovering to 130. Again, great upside. This would, uh, this is what I would view a little bit more of more medium risk in comparison to the companies like Royal Caribbean or American Airlines that have dropped much more significantly that are viewed as higher risk, right? Uh, now that we talked a little bit more about the banks, one of the things that I did wanna talk about um, are tech companies. Tech companies, although again, they probably have seen more users now than ever before, still saw a negative overall uh, impact uh, when it came down to the overall market pulling back to so these major corporations pull back as well. Companies like Facebook were thriving and then they pull back, right? So again, a lot of upside potential for potential recovery. Twitter, 
uh, Google. This is one that is not under $1,000 and I do understand, but the reason that I still added it is I know that not everyone can afford a $1,000 share, but the idea is how consistent it was uptrending. So if you're a little bit more conservative and you're a little bit more selective, again, the overall idea is just putting your money where you value it most. And if you value Google and all that it stands for, then great. If it were to be trading back at around 1100 uh, and then it goes back up uh, to that $1,400 price point, that's a that's a 30% return, which is huge when it comes down uh, to what Google has to offer. Other companies such as Apple, also very consistent uptrend pattern, did sell off before the overall uh, because of the overall market, so they were affected, but of course, not as much as companies like American Airlines or uh, Carnival Cruises, right? Uh, now, what I wanted to talk about is, I talked about here Berkshire Hathaway, uh, which is BRK forward slash B, talked about Facebook, Twitter, Google. What I did wanna talk about are companies like Apple, Shopify, uh, Microsoft, and Visa. Uh, so to take these into consideration, one of the things that I wanted to at least cover with you guys is the overall idea of how, again, they have been affected, but that they still are showing signs of, again, a lot of upside potential in comparison to what they have to recover. Um, so let me go ahead and we covered Apple. So now I wanna make sure that I cover Microsoft, right? So Microsoft was, again, very bullish before all of this happened. So it has been affected, obviously, just not as much as everything else. And then we got Visa. Visa was showing signs of an uptrend pattern. It was affected, but it's showing signs a little bit more of a stronger recovery, which, again, makes sense. Now that we talked about that is these are the ones in that, in my opinion, are companies that have been thriving. These are just a small list of them. Uh, the idea is if you want to gather your own list of lower risk stocks uh, is to take time to inform yourself about what companies thrive during a recession or during what's currently going on. Uh, this recession is very unique, right? I've never seen anything like this when it comes down to uh, this pandemic. And companies like Amazon, companies like Target, companies like Walmart, Costco are, are thriving. Uh, what I wanted to show you is not just those companies, but companies like EA, companies like Netflix, companies like ATVI, Zoom, are absolutely killing the game right now. So Zoom was showing signs of higher highs. Even when the market was selling off, Zoom was still pushing. Zoom is a uh, online platform, streaming platform, where you can host conference calls. How cool is that, right? Uh, for all the people that still had to continue their online schooling or when it comes down to running your business and having to host meetings. This was a very popular platform that was used for this. Uh, companies like Costco have been doing very, very well. Companies like Target, uh, not, not as much. So this is one that you can remove from the list if it, you don't find it to be as attractive. It's just not as big as Walmart, right? Uh, but then we have companies. Let me go ahead and see if I can find it. Did I not add Walmart to this specific list? I actually don't think I did. So here we go. So Walmart has been almost like number one, right? Uh, Walmart hit pretty much 180 day highs during the coronavirus, you know, uh, news. And it's because they were in such high demand. Uh, very similar idea with Amazon. Amazon is thriving. It's doing very well. One of the things that I want to share with you guys is companies like this. Um, I forgot to share another two with you. I believe it was, uh, was it ATVI? So let me go ahead and share that one with you guys. So this is Activision showing signs of it holding very well. And let me not forget EA. So for all of our gamers out there, just think about how many more people are playing video games. Ask yourself, have you been playing more video games now than ever before? It's been a very popular thing because people now have so much off time. So just think about what companies, because of us having to be home and having to be quarantined, what companies are doing well during this off time. And what I want to remind you is, although these companies are doing very, very well, this is something that I don't feel like enough people are talking about. Because you're doing so well during this specific type of unique pandemic, if things were to go back to normal, you have to understand that the demand for maybe EA, the demand for ZM, which is Zoom, the demand for Costco, Walmart, Amazon might not be as great. Amazon might be a little bit different as they're 
a monster, right? Uh, but when it comes down to companies like EA, right, they might not be doing as well if things go back to normal. Companies like Zoom might not be doing as well if things were go back to normal. So please just take into consideration and when it comes down to if things do get better or how if things do get worse, what companies will do well and what companies, again, uh, are just gonna be more, uh, more negatively affected. Uh, I find this time to be super interesting. Uh, it's something that I really just, we're, we're, we're living in a time that I think people are always going to talk about. Just like we've talked about, you know, I don't wanna compare this to the Great Depression as I didn't live in that era, uh, but when it comes down to the 2008 market crash, just have you ever heard someone talk about like, wow, I wish I would have invested more in real estate because Again, if you were just informed enough that the market was going to recover, you could have made a killing. You could have done so, so well. So all I'm here to share with you is the, the list of stocks that I talked about today, I really hope that it's just the very foundation in which you can build off of. The idea that I wanted to share with you is taking time in what and learning more about what companies do well during a recession and what companies get most negatively affected. So when it comes down to your idea of investing long-term, that you can take advantage of this good deal that we are presented with, but like we've said again so many times before, with great opportunity comes great responsibility and nothing in life worth having will ever come easy. You should never listen to people uh, when it comes down to where you should put your hard earned money. You should take time and inform yourself to make sure that it makes sense for you because at the end of the day, if you make a profit or you make a mistake, those are still both positive outcomes in which that you can learn from. So that is what I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, let me know. Um, again, I'm going to be sharing the list. If you guys are part of our free Facebook group, which is the first link down below, I do want to remind you that the list of the 30 stocks that I talked about today, I did go through them pretty quick. And if you guys don't want a free Facebook group, that's going to be that first link down below. Also, we were thinking about doing a giveaway over the Easter weekend. Uh, you guys know about the sale that we have uh, for Learn Plan Profit for the first 20 people. Uh, we opened up 50 spots, uh, 20 spots for $50 off. So again, that's that second link down below. But we also wanted to uh, do some form of giveaway. I just, I just need an idea and we're gonna host this giveaway only on Instagram. So I was thinking about giving away, you know, maybe a laptop, maybe a thousand dollars, maybe a hundred dollars to ten different people. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comment section if you would rather me give away. Reminder: We are only going to have. 20 spots for the $50 off if you guys want to learn how to trade and watch me trade live as soon as money. So the weekend, especially this three-day weekend, is a perfect time for you guys to take advantage of this free time to maybe learn more about a market that you might be interested in, right? So here we go. So we have a lot of people saying laptop giveaway, $100 giveaway to 10 people. I'm excited to see what you guys have to share. So make sure that you guys see each other's comments down below uh, and whichever one becomes more popular, I'll just be sure to do that. So feel free to refresh your page if you guys don't see the $50 off coupon, it should be the second link down below. And so someone is saying, if you can do all three giveaways, that could be an idea. Um, <laughs> you guys crack me up. All right, so I'm gonna be announcing the giveaway on Instagram. My Instagram should be the Fourth link down below, um, you guys can check it out here. I have 149,000 followers on Instagram. I only have one Instagram account, just make sure there's a bunch of fake accounts. This is my only Instagram account. I have 149,000 followers as of now. And again, I'm gonna be posting updates on the giveaway uh, that we're gonna most likely be starting during uh, you know, uh, this Easter weekend. So all together, I really do appreciate your guys' time. I hope that I earned your thumbs up throughout this video. Uh, if, I, if I did, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And again, friendly reminder, make sure you turn on your post notifications so anytime that I go live, you can jump on in to the very start of the video. Like always guys, continue working hard, continue following dreams, let your passion be what drives your success. Uh, for all those that tuned in late, this is what I closed out the day out, so $3,684 profit. And these are the 30, I think it's about 32 stocks that I broke down today. So appreciate you guys' time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.